dear Vapor colleagues, members, and friends, this is Robert Chong speaking. About two months before our 2024 annual conference, I started to call for donations of short videos on humanity. Thanks to many of you, we have collected quite many, and I myself feel obliged to make one myself. Humanity is very important. It should play a part in everything we do. As professionals, we are the World Association setting the standards of public opinion research. As scientists, we are truth seekers and all of us should passionately defend our right and freedom to speak the truth. However, these are not enough. We need to constantly ask ourselves why we are doing what we are doing. And our WAPOC constitution has provided us with the answer. It says that our mission is to serve humankind in a very special way. That is, to let people's voices to be heard. Each of us therefore has a duty to work as a part of the whole to serve humanity. And we should always bear in mind that the whole is bigger than the sum of its parts. Let us therefore work as hard as we possibly can in our own domain, but without losing the sight of humanity. Let there be unity in diversity, and let our soul-searching exercise go beyond the city of Seoul. I am Robert Chong, President of Weipo 2024. From the very beginning of civilization, humans have tried to come to grips with their circumstances and push ahead in the informed development of their societies through measurement, the acts of quantification and classification. At its core, societies record their activities and pass on their learnings to future generations by writing things down. In each of our societies, we ask, what are we doing? What are we thinking? What are our needs? Where do we want to go and how do we want to get there? We're not content to rely on spin, speculation, or punditry to answer these questions. They're too important. Important questions demand reliable data. So we go forth with our best methods, theoretically based, empirically tried and tested over the generations, professionally produced. Now, times change. Our methods have improved a little since the days of clay tokens, cuneiform markings, and the abacus. And in today's practice, we do a bit more than counting goats or sheaves of wheat. Uh, we explore the world of attitudes and behavior. We break down barriers uh, with our random samples, introducing otherwise disconnected elements of society to one another. Uh, but at its base, 9,000 years later, we're still at the same thing, contributing essential irreplaceable fact-based knowledge to the development of society and the progress of humanity. It's a noble profession and I'm proud to share it with you. In my perspective, humanity means that we have social justice, that we ha hold uh, our political stakeholders to account. And for that reason, InfoTruck has always had a Voice of the People poll that is conducted every quarter for the last 15 years. This poll asks two critical questions. The first one is, what is your opinion about, as a Kenyan, about the direction the country is taking? This is essentially meant to help the government of the day policy makers uh, and advisors, businesses, and also the general public understand what the pulse of the nation is. If the country is indeed going in the wrong direction, then it behooves on governments to listen and to see what it is that they should be doing. Very closely related to this question is the question, why? What are the key issues that are affecting you as a Kenyan today? And what are the key issues that you'd want government to actually address as a matter of priority? In dealing with these issues, we feel that opinion polling closely therefore intersects with elements of humanity in providing that intersection, uh, you know, that conduit that helps 
uh, the stakeholders who are, you know, the general public and poly policy makers really understand what it is that the collective will of the people wants. We do a lot to bring goodness to our society. And we do that by identifying issues which affect our societies. Say, for example, opinion polls can highlight prevalent problems such as discrimination or inequality. And by bringing these issues to light through our research, societies can address them with empathy and compassion. And we help not only scientists, but policymakers, governments, to make better decisions for the citizens. UNICEF uses the research data to talk and advise governments, non-governmental organizations, to develop policies, systems, and legislation to prevent the violence against children in each country. They use for education tool, public campaigns, what to do, what not to do for each country. Representative public opinion polls give a clear and direct voice to those members of society who have no other social, economic, cultural or political representation by, for example, different interest groups or political parties or professional associations. <clears throat> Humanity and humankind receives thus a direct and strong voice by representative opinion polls which can be heard as a consequence at the macro level of open and pluralistic societies. As I think there is a strong relation, uh, we believe that our industry serves this important uh, goals of the humanity and uh, human beings. Uh, we respect the people and we uh, ask for their opinions and try to, to transfer their opinions to the different stakeholders, to decision makers, to the media. So this is a strong relation that I believe we should do and uh, to express their opinion, opinions in a professional way in numbers, outcomes, reports, presentations. This is very important. Opinion polls are important tools that show what people think about certain issues and topics. By knowing others' opinions, people can rethink their own ideas and help form a social agreement. In Japan, many people feel they should not strongly express political opinions due to cultural reasons. It's important to gather and understand the opinions of these people. The result of opinion polls serves as crucial indicators for politicians and policy makers. While elections have the biggest impact on politics, opinion polls also reflect citizens' views and feelings influencing government policies. In Japan, media conducted opinion polls, especially those measuring the cabinet's approval rating, are very accurate. They can greatly influence the government, ensuring that policies meet people's needs and respect humanity.
So, as a Gen Zer, I am 27 years old, I have grown up in the internet. And to me, the internet and, you know, this new form of information technology communication that is worldwide and completely connected is a key aspect of what humanity itself is today and as disruptive as what the Industrial Revolution was back then. We are now being able to reconstruct and reform our whole way of thinking, considering that we can communicate with people worldwide for all sorts of reasons. This new paradigm shift, to me, is key for the understanding of international public opinion. So, nowadays, if I would like to know what someone in South Korea or in Nigeria or in my Latin American neighbors, all I have to do is to check social media, you know? But the thing is, we cannot take scientific rigor out of the equation when we're looking into social media content. Even though it's easier to find out what people are talking about through social media platforms such as Twitter or Instagram or even Facebook, we need to be able to properly address the limitations and also, you know, the biases that come in this sort of environment. So, I would like to invite us all to look into the analysis of social media content and discourse with the academic rigor that comes from public opinion research. If we understand humanity as the quality or state of being human and recognize that one of its important traits is to have a generous behavioral disposition, then we in WAPER, as a collective group of professionals, have great potential to contribute to the greater good. One way to do it, this is my proposal, is to jointly produce a global report on an important topic, a GRIT. The GRIT is a collective research project generated by voluntary participation of several WAPER members each of them would include the same measurement scale or questions module in their own national surveys within an established time frame. The scale your module to be included in each grid would focus on a specific topic of one of the 17 United Nations Sustainable Development Goals, defined by a waiver appointed committee and proposed to the members each year at the annual Congress. As you can see, the idea is simple, feasible and powerful. And my hope is that you consider it a direct way that we as a collective can contribute to humanity. Uh, I have spent the last four decades of my professional life researching and teaching largely in India and I believe in these last four decades, I have had this wonderful opportunity to relate to humankind, to intervene in issues relating to human development and to see four decades of progress, not just in India, but across the world with regard to the human race. Let me just make two points at this point of time. First, over four decades of research and teaching has allowed me to interact with more than 40,000 undergraduates, postgraduates and researchers. And all these 40,000 people have allowed me to learn along with them. This is one of my greatest lessons from humanity, the opportunity to learn, the opportunity to grasp various perspectives and the opportunity to learn from different experiences across the world. As a researcher, I have been involved in survey based popular opinion on society and politics. This has allowed me to directly view at the ground how people think, how changes in people's perspectives happen and what contributes to shaping public 
attitudes can there be a better way of understanding humanity can there be a better way of grasping the reality of human kind's experience than such a very interesting and fascinating world of survey research